God bless you. Amen. Sister Audrey Chivasa, na brother, as I pride Chivasa, yes. Touched our nation, Kubachi Wokawumana, Kwai Faith Clinic. And this is where I was now to discharge Wanasi, Wahakumba, but uh, this is what has happened. We baptized him. He's uh, one of us. But the, there are certain things God is uh, dealing with him, and we find him in church again today. We believe in that God who is sovereign, who can deal with his own people. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, I'll quickly take you again to Genesis chapter 5 now. Genesis chapter 5, This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man in the likeness of God, made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. And Adam lived in 130 years and begat a son of his own likeness after his own image and called his name Seth. As you know, Adam, Akarara, Mama Kore, Aishika, 130 years, and Dokva, Berika Manakumana, Akanga, Akafana Nana Ie, Akanga, Arim Shimiro Shake, Akampa Sitarek to Seti. Cain has not yet died. Cain, Wanga Rumpe, Nyanga, Satuafa, up. But look at the language of the Bible now. As Tarai Rurimi, the Bible, Rikosino. Which means God is just confirming Cain does not come. In Adam's life. Verse 14. Remember those twins were who and who? Cain and who died? Abel. Who killed him? Cain. So now the generations are being mentioned here. But Cain is alive. I see. Cain, Mupin. So look at the language of the Bible now. Verse 4. And the days uh, of four. Adam after he begat Seth were 800, 800, and he begat sons and Daughters. Adam, Shurimekunge, Aberika Seti, Akanga Ari, 
uh, makore 800 uh, uyezwe wakazobereka vanakomana nevanaskana and all the days that adam lived were 930 years and he died azvino mazwa ose akarara miwana adam aiva 930 years mushure mao ndo kubva afa so adam dies saka adam anofa he dies even without making a day anofa asina kuzadzisa zuva kuna mwari so what is a day before god ko kana zvanze zuva kuna mwari zvinorevei a thousand years ndo churu cha makore Praise the Lord. The day you eat, azuara uchajika, that day you shall die. Pazuva iroro uchafa. So this man he dies he does not make a thousand years. Murume uyu anofa asina kukwanisa churu cha makore. And Seth lived in 105 and, uh, years and beget Enos. Zvino seti akarara mamakore aisvika zana nemashano. Mushure mazvo ndokubereka Enos. And Seth lived after he beget Enos 807 years and beget sons and daughters. No seti akarara mawo mushure mekunga abereka Enos makore angaita 807 years. And all the days of Seth were 912 years and he died. Mazwa ose akarara mewana seti panyika aiva 912 dobva afa. Enos lived 990 years and beget Canaan and Enos lived after he beget Canaan 815 years and he beget sons and daughters and all the days of Enos were 905 and he died as you know Enos akararama makore anova 900 years that's fine take it from me and K9 lived 70 years and beget Mahalali. Zvino Kena nakarara mamakore 75 akabereka Mahalali. K9 lived after he beget Mahalali 840 years and beget sons and daughters and all the days of K9 were 910 years and he died. Zvino Kena K9 akarara mama and Mahalali lived 65 years and beget Jared Zvino Mahalali akarara mo 805 years akabereka Jared. Jared lived 830 years and beget sons and daughters and all the days of Mahalali sorry Jal yeah 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 Jared we 800 and what and all the days of Mahalali were 890 and 5 years and he died. Mazwa ose Mahalali aiva 890 years ndo kubva afa. Jared lived in 162 and he beget Enoch Jared ndo kurara mawo makore 162 ndo kubereka Jared lived after he beget Enoch 800 years and he beget sons and daughters and all the days of Jared were 962 years and he died makore ose a Jared aiva 962 ndo bva afa So he is the one who lives the longest. There are reasons also why he is living the longest. And Enoch lived 65 years and beget Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he beget Methuselah 300 years and beget sons and daughters zvino ino ku wakafamba namwari mushure mekunga abereka metusela makore angaita 300 years ndo kubereka vanakomana nevanaska and all the days of ino ku 365 years zvino ma kore akarara mewana ino ku aiva 365 and it ino ku walked with god and he was not for god took him zvino ino ku wakafamba namwari iye akashaikwa panyika nekuti mwari vakamutora praise the lord Shenga varobizu. Let us pray gracious heavenly Father. Mwari baba vedu vazerene nyasha. Tonight with reverence we bow before your throne of mercy. Manirane kuzinini pisa tino kutamisa usoo yedu pamberi peji garo chenye nyasha. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like today. We want to thank you for a day like but your angel father god surrounded us today asi mutumwa wenyu nematumwa wenyu wanga vakati komberedza bazuvara nasi we are so thankful father that we come to the house of praise to the house of prayer tine kutenda ishe our part that we love you and that we want to worship you tine kutenda ishe kuti tauya mu imba yekukuna matai imba yekukurumbidzai kuti tigoradza chikamu chedu chekuti isuti nokudai 
very thankful for this little Audrey that you have given a, a, a baby. Father God, keep yourself and give her the capacity and the ability to raise that little boy. And again in service, my master, we pray that your Holy Ghost will take us from there and interpret scriptures to us. May you help us from henceforth in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Let's take our seats. I want to go on from where I left. Uh, thinking also it may make me cover a few things. In the given window we have in tonight's service. Thank you for making it and for coming to church. Brother Kimia was preaching to us on Mrs. Grace. Uh, uh, it was faith raising. It was very good. And we thank God if people can come like that and also help way. us in that respect. Yes, I'm part of uh, the homeboys here and you know with the church you want to post them in a certain position so that you can continue to move. So now I'm talking about this and uh, when I finish uh, there is another subject that I want to bring by the grace of God. And Praise the Lord. We are thankful that God has given us a prophet in this time. Like Moses who was getting his information from God who was getting his information from the Logos this is what this prophet was like as well he had a mighty visitation from the Logos and he got his commission in the cave from the Logos. Moses and Balaam were different. Balaam was getting his instruction or information from Balak. He was a little bit different from Paul. Who was also getting his information from God. Paul was an independent person. He was not somebody who was getting his information from Peter. He was not getting it from James. He was not getting it from either of the disciples. But he was getting it from Jesus Christ himself. And 
I'm glad we are in that condition as well. This God that we're talking about, he has visited people in various periods. When Paul caught a mystery about him, Paul, he blew a trumpet. He says, if a trumpet gives an uncertain sound, we shall prepare for the battle. He had a situation that he was facing. Judaism fought him the most. After him comes Irenaeus. He had also a situation that was facing him. Nicolaitanism fought him the worst. And when his time was up, Saint Martin also came forth. Martin He His fight was slightly different from that of Irenaeus. He was fought by Balamism quite a lot. Then in the fourth position, Pachinano Chechina. Came Columba. Pakawia in Columba. He was fought by Catholicism quite a lot. So each and every member, each and every messenger, when they are coming, they are facing a situation. You must also recognize. What we face today. Really head on against the beast. Praise the Lord. So in every instance it is a war. So who was Paul? An angel of God. He was one of the stars in the right hand of Christ. When you talk of stars, if you have ever read Genesis, you begin to see the father of faith, Abraham. Abraham. Who was taken outside and was shown the skies. And when he was shown the skies, there were a lot of stars. And he says, your seed will be like those ones. Then he was taken to the seas. Whereby there were seashores. And God described his seed like that. So if Paul was one of the stars. It means then he was a part of the seed of Abraham. And in our day, if a prophet has risen again out of the stars, it means is also a seed of Abraham. You see that in Revelation, as you are beginning the book of Revelation, it talks about the seven stars. So God is still telling us that seed of Abraham, he continues to deal with it. Remember Orion? 
Rangari Rai, Nyeredzi, Orion. It had also a group of stars behind it. So its administrations God has put in the fivefold ministry. Praise the Lord. So it's a continuation. It's typed in the skies. It's, it's also with us in general life. Praise the Lord. Amen. But if you would look in Genesis 4 verse 16, it says Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. Uh, I need your undivided attention tonight. Because I, uh, there are certain things I want to bring out. So Adam, when he sinned, he was removed from the tree of life. Instead, what happened? He started to have a fig leaf religion. Praise the Lord. Amen. This kind of religion, religion is a covering. So what was happening on uh, these two? Every time they would cover themselves. In no time those little leaves would wither away. Things by men they don't take you anywhere. But that man was then bad from the tree of life. He was no longer enjoying the presence of the Lord. So when we say Cain went out from the presence of the Lord, we see also Israel when they sinned. When they took the accursed uh, uh, thing, that's the Babylonian garment that was stolen. They also mingled righteousness with unrighteousness. And when they did that, because they were already away from the presence of the Lord, they could not stand against their own enemies. Instead, they gave their backs to their own enemies. So it is important to remain in the presence of the Lord. Because you have a fortress. But if you are not, then you remain exposed. Your family is exposed. Your own life is exposed. And typically, this is what we are seeing. Cain remained exposed. Cain akaramba aripa mene. There was nothing that could cover him. He goes to the land of Nod. Praise the Lord. And he is failing to stand against his own enemies. So we see Israel in that predicament as well. So we see Israel in that so if there is iniquity in the heart, the Lord does not hear you. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. You pray and you fail to have an audience with the Lord. Simply because you got iniquity. And in Cain, there was iniquity. So this relationship between him and God just vanished away. In that instance, the revival for God in your heart dies down. There is nothing that stirs it up that revival. And ultimately, God consumes such people. God does not accept their offering. And instead, God is withdrawn away from such a people. God hides his face from you in the day of your affliction. God hands such people to their enemies publicly and they always fall by the sword. So it pays to be in the presence of the Lord. When Aaron road was taken in, it budded, though it had died. When you are put in the presence of God, no matter if you were dead, you must begin to bud alive. Because in God, there is life. He is the one who turns deserts into valleys. He is the one who turns dry places into valleys. He's got the capacity to turn you around. Praise the Lord. From a despised person to somebody honorable to somebody respectable always in your, in your, in your life make sure you are in that presence. He will remember you in the day of your calamity. Genesis 4, 17. Genesis 4, verse 17. It now brings us to another scenario here. Cain knew his wife. He's already not in God. He has decided to make a solo kind of life, a solo kind of religion without the dictates of God. So when he's there, he finds people there and he marries a woman there. In other words, he does not consult God in what he wants to do. So he just goes by the dictates of his own heart. So let's go through it. Let's see what happens here. So he bears a child called Enoch. And when he's there, he builds a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. 
you already see the kind of civilization he is beginning to go into. And this is coming not inspired by God. But he is already an enemy of God. He has been asked, where is your brother Abel? And he answers rough to God. He doesn't want to be accountable to anyone. And God says, if you Deal your things like this, then we can't deal. Mwariwa katika na iwe, uriwe kwachu, uri zimbimi ndoga. Ati kwanza kushanda tose. You better go away from my presence. Asitori nani uve mupo wangu. He removes himself from the place where they were staying. Zino iye, ano zibvisa, ozitana, uraku vamu nzimbo ya waiga. And begins to go a far away place. Zoku yenda kunzimbo ya kanga iri kure. And when he's there, he begins to have another civilization. He builds cities. He enters into construction. So the first civilization that which perished in the judgment of the flood was kinetic in origin was kinetic in character was kinetic in destiny the way he answered God became the people that he brought forth. The way he wanted worship was the kind that he brought forth. His behavior, his manner of doing things, results also in the generation that he has brought forth. And when God is looking at that, he is not amused. And when he is destroying those people, the people who were destroyed were kinetic in character. Were kinetic in origin. Were kinetic in destiny. Praise the Lord. So every element of material civilization We see it here in Genesis chapter 4 Genesis chapter 4 They were builders of a city They were doing pastoral life they had development in arts. They were manufacturers. So imagine their divergence. Imagine also their difference. Eh? With self. With Abel. Na Abel. Eh? Look at the way these guys are doing. They are still relying on the sheep which they were offering. Which they were skinning out and using them as clothing. But these ones they were already into clothes manufacturing. How were they feeling? I want you to open your eyes to something else. Here. These ones looked developed. 
Because they were already staying in modern homes. They had already industrial revolution. Eh? So the Enoch that they brought forth. The Enoch they brought forth. Eh? Who was who the city was named after? Uyo akapi wazita pa guta na wakanga wabaka. It meant teacher. Zaire wa mzizisi. Cain, zino Cain, the way of naming his children after God, zino kanzira yake, ya haipa, wanawake mazita, ashiva pa nozira, yeziero zamgati. Had already vanished. Zanga zabwa zino. They don't have the L termination. Havasi sina. Praise the Lord. Amen. Others would use names like Elohim. Elohim. Elihu. Kanakuti Elihu. Eliaza. Kanakuti Eliaza. Speaking of the L termination, which stands for God. Praise the Lord. But this one Asi uyu. had nothing to do with God. His planning had nothing to do with God. His vision had nothing to do with God. His way of doing things had nothing to to do with God. Reason why God does not make this generation to stay. He wipes it away. He wipes it away. Are together? I'm glad you are following what I'm saying. But tonight I really want to go into this. Eh? So, the knowledge of Elohim here, it's disappearing. Look at what Romans 1.21 says. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful. But became vain in their own imaginations. And their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. This is this kind of people that has removed in their chemistry anything to do with God. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible, to corruptible men and birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. And He's beginning to worship idols. A man who was in a home under Adam Adam who had met up with God, Adam who was talking to God all the time, who was leading a prayer meeting in the home, just because this man is incensed and goes away from God, he forgets about God. 
abva mupo wamwari anokanganwa wese zvimiti munzeve kuzvino zvine chekuita namwari these are dangerous people imhando yevanhu yakaipa injodzi when you meet this kind of seed ukasangana nembeu iyakadai you have, you know you have come across kinetic civilization unobva waziva kuti wasangana nemhando yakabukira nodzera yake they were destroyed then vakamboparadzwa kumashure they are going to be destroyed again vachaparadzwa zvekare it was water then yaiva mvura kumashure it is going to be fire uchava moto unovaburukira are we together amen so what are they doing saka varikuita sei they worship birds vakanga vakuna matashiri they worship images vakanga vakuna matazvimiro zvimpunzo they worship grottoes vanga vakuna matazvimwari zvemiti they worship other gods vanga vakuna matavamwe vamwari and kain kain is very disappointing here zvinoka ari kuodza moyo wamwari pam verse 25 pa verse 25 who changed the true of god into a lie zvino vanoshandura zvokwadi yamwari voita nema and worshiped and saved the creature more than the creator zvino vakanga vona mata nekushumira chakasikwa kudarika akasika wacho this was what we begin to find among most people ndo zvatinotanga kuona zvino pakati pevazhinji we see the behavior of africans zvinotanga kuona hunu wevanhu veku africa they worship cows vaina mata mombe they worship birds vaina mata shiri they worship certain images vaina mata zvimwe zvimpunzo zvavaiumba they worship snakes vaina mata nyoka There are things that are too traditionalistic. Zvinhu zvavo zvakaumbwa pamakuriro avo emunyika dzavo. And where is it coming from? Zviri kumbobva kupi from the kinetic origin. Zviri kubva pa kutorwa pa nodzera dzakai. So what does he do? Zvino anodipa. He goes out to marry anoenda zvino kundo rora the name of the wife that he marries zvino zita remudzimai wakandorora is called eda zita ainzi ada meaning pleasure zvino reva mafaro or adornment kana kuti hanzu dzino winya he is not taken by the qualities of god Asikutorwa mudzimai uyu zvichitariswa pa zviyero nehunu huri muna mwari he doesn't look at the nature hatombotarise pa mamiriro ezvino he looks at the way she dresses anotarisa pa mapfekero emudzimai uyu he looks at the way she handles herself anotarisa panzira yemazvibatiro anoita mudzimai uyu and through that he says i must get a wife through this kuburikidza na izozo unokwezwa hoto hoto hoti ndofa hakutora mudzimai kubva there is no quality of god at at all hapana hudzamu kana chiyero chamwari kubva mahari and the other one mumwe wacho is called zila ainzi zila meaning to hide zvireva anoviga kana kuvanza where who are they hiding from ko vari kuviga kana kuvanza kubva kuna from god kubva kuna mwari they have nothing to do with god havanei nechekuita kuna mwari and the child who is brought forth there zvino mwana anoberekwa pawananoi lamek a conqueror or a wild man anopiwa zita rekuti lamek zvaireva mukundi kana kuti munhu ane hunhu hwemuhumuka genesis 64 ah genesis 6 pa verse there were giants in the earth in those days paiva nehuita kwi hofori apa nyika panguva idzozo and also after that mushure maizozo when the sons of god came in unto the daughters of men apo vanakomara vamwari pavakauya vonopindira kutora vanasikana vakunda vevanhu they bear children to them vakazviberekera vana kubva pavana no idzozo and the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown zvino vana vakaberekwa vakave varume vehumare varume vana mutekwa tekwa vaizika zvakanyanya listen to this tereresai so the kinetic civilization azvinoka kuvanduzwa kana kubudirira kwakabuda kubva muna kain that civilization may have been splendid 
Like we told you before, it had the comparisons, say today, of Greece or Rome. But when God was looking at them, the divine judgments that he was giving to them was not according to the material civilization they amassed. God was looking at their moral state. Not their material things. They were not judged because they built cities. No. They were not judged because they were manufacturers. Though not amused with that. But what made God to judge them? Was morality. Are we together? Amen. Can I have the fifth vision here? Praise the Lord. I want to put it there. Right from church ages. Right. Fine. You are doing very well. You are doing very well, Brother Bebeti. Keep it up. I really want to cover a few things here. Uh, can I go ahead as you look for it? So, Genesis 6, 5. No, Genesis 6, verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of men was great in the earth. Let me go to the sixth vision first. The fifth vision. The fifth vision. Had to do with the moral problem. In Genesis. God has a problem with the moral problem. And the whole earth was destroyed. Today again, God is facing a moral problem. Which means the earth has to be eliminated. Reason why Brother Branham speaks of the future home. He speaks of parerekomia. He says this heaven and this earth that you see will pass away. Why a calamity again? The same conditions that made him destroy the first earth. They are coming back again. Which means the spirit of Cain has lived even until today. God did not like it. And he destroyed it. He is not liking it either today. And he is going to destroy it again. But what is making him destroy them? Their morality. They had nothing to do with God in their morals. The reason why this message. You hear it so much talking about women. Get back into your place. Get back into your place. Get back into your place. Is it just to be difficult? No, 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 no. The minute you correct on your morals, the minute you correct on your morals, the minute you correct on your morals, it means you have favor with God. Then you have moved from being kinetic to another one. Are we together? This is the achievement of the message. So look at that. 
Another moral problem. Sendering mostly around women. God showed me that women began to be out of their place. With the grinding of the vote. Then they cut off their hair. Which signified they were no longer under the authority of a man. But insisted on either equal rights or in most cases more than equal rights. So they started doing she adopted men's clothing. What does Deuteronomy say? It's an abomination. For a woman to put on that which pay unto a man. Praise the Lord. Amen. So anything that pay unto a man. It's an abomination before God. What is an abomination? One day, the prophet William Branham was passing by a, 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 an ablution facility. And it was so smelly. And God started to speak to him. He said, when I see abomination, that's exactly what it is to me. So, when a woman puts on a garment that pertains to a man, puts on a garment that pertains to a man, that's the treatment by God. When a man do, that, that's best by God's presence. That's the treatment before God. So, morality is the problem here. And it was the problem there. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Until the last picture I saw was a naked woman except for a little fig leaf type apron. They can't dress. They want to go naked. They want to dress like men. When God saw it, he says the world is right for judgment. Now, it's the same thing. Because these are the seven visions. This man is shown. And God says, here are the seven steps. Here are the seven visions. That must happen. As progress to the end of the world. When you see them fulfilled, then the world cannot progress anymore. That fifth vision in our day, as you sit there, you are witnesses that it has been fulfilled. Are we together? Which means this world is right for judgment. It was judged then. It is going to be judged. But there are two different types of people. One is the Abel type. And that one, that one is the king type. But who are these? Who God is destroying? Is the kinetic nature people. People of kinetic origin. People of kinetic destiny. Praise the Lord. Praise so the world goes into a terrible perversion. Morality is gone. No woman wants to stay in her place. No man wants to stay in her place. Morality is gone. 
and it's a little sign for you that God is now ready to judge Are we together, brothers? Let me come to my notes here. Genesis 6, 5. And God saw the, that the wickedness of men was great in the earth. And that every imagination. And Brother Branham comes to preach the greatest battle ever fought. He says that greatest battle is being fought in the minds of the people. He says they leave dirty things to enter their minds. And they are conquered by the devil. Praise the Lord. So the imaginations of the people, they were evil. And God says, your thoughts, they speak louder before God. What must it tell us? We must think correctly. We must imagine correctly. Otherwise, if you are not, then we go into this judgment bracket. Are we together? Amen. Let your thoughts be right every time. Praise the Lord. Little boy, leave pornography. Because that's what they were doing then. Their imaginations were evil. And God was not amused by it. What happened? He destroyed those people. If he did destroy them, he's going to destroy them again. Are we together, brother? Reason why we must run away with our lives. To say these are the things that lead to destruction. We don't want these things in our lives. Are we together? Praise the Lord. Imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil. Continue. And God is looking at it. In that mind, in that imagination, there is no praise of the Lord. There was always evil continually. There is no more praise for God. And God is saying, What is going on? Look at verse 6. And it repented the Lord that he made men on the earth. God is having a regret. Why have I created men upon the earth? Have I created men for him to do such things? Like a mother who is also those you know, are repenting. Uh, you know, when uh, he looked, he looked, or yeah. she looks at his. Is it the reason why I brought for this? Is it the reason why I brought for this girl? The mother repents in her heart. When she brings forth a kinetic type of son, kinetic type of girl. Can I preach a little bit, brothers? This is the word. Are we together, brothers? Yeah. This is verse 7. And Papi the Lord seven. said, I will destroy man. Whom I've created from the face of the earth, both men and beast and creeping thing. Why are the other things now being destroyed? Man is the Lord over those things. So these ones, they, 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 they are just, you know. Eh? <coughs> 
included in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the Both men and beast and creeping thing and fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. Are we together? Amen. There's this thing also that I want to bring in. I hope it's going to blend in very well with what we're talking about. Revelation 2 9. Uh, two, verse nine. I know thy works and thy tribulation and poverty but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. And are not. But are of the synagogue of Satan. Hmm? Are we together? Remember what I talked about Paul? What he suffered from? From seemingly brothers. But who were only seeing the message so far. But they could not see the grace of God that had come. When Paul was then talking about grace, they, were, they then became a center of persecution for Paul. In every time, God progresses in his revelation. What happens? There are a people who remain behind. Who do not see the move of God currently. Those people. God is calling them the synagogue of Satan. Do you follow what you are saying? These Jews, they believed in Moses. These Jews... Majudai. They were taking Moses to the letter. But here is Paul. Paul. Now taking the law that was given by Moses. The focus of these people was heaven. 
It was not materialist. It wasn't natural. They were in the earth. They were working for their families. But their focus was not natural. This is how the way we counter Laodicea. What is Laodicea? Increased with goods. And in need of nothing. What is Laodicea? That church, which is the Pentecostal church, has locked out the Lord Jesus Christ. Until he says, 320, behold, I stand at the door and If there is any man who will hear my knock and Open his door. I'll come into him. And sup with him. And Brother Branham says, Jesus Christ is a gentleman. He does not break any man's door. In order for him to have the audience. He says he knocks. And when he does. That man must open from inside. Who is Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ the word of God. As I preach it to you right it's now, it's knocking at your door. Do you open your heart or you let him out? Are we together? But what is happening? A lot of people. Don't want him inside. They would rather have a little bit of religion. And have the rest to themselves. Christ is the mystery of God. And Brother Branham says, here is the summary of the whole book. Here is the summary of, of of, 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 of the seventh seal. He says God. From time and equity. He wanted to have preeminence. In his people. Rulership. He wanted to reveal himself. To those people. And he wanted to take them back to the Garden of Eden. He says, Christ is the mystery. Is the seventh seal. The message that he failed to preach. But when he comes back in March, he says, here are the things that I wanted to tell you in the seventh seal. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Praise the Lord. So, when he has preeminence, it means he's got rulership. And Paul says, I'm a prisoner of the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, my feet are bound. They can't dance to the music of the world. My eyes are bound. They can't be set on the things of the world. He says, I'm a prisoner of the Lord Jesus. He says, when you are a prisoner, you don't have your own choices. Somebody detects on what goes on in your own life. Are we together? Praise the Lord. Huh? So these people, they were prisoners to the Lord Jesus Christ. Huh? Cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Which had great recompense of reward. The way these people are focusing on the message. This is the way Paul is saying it is a great 
reward. Which means they had capacity to do other things they could not do them. Because the message they believed made them prisoners. They had no choice of their own. They had no vision of their own. They had no tomorrow of their own. Everything was God centered. And if we do that again in today, then we are moving away from the kinetic type of civilization. When we do like that, we move away from the kinetic type of looking at things to the accepted Abel. Listen to what we are saying. For you have need of patience. <laughs> but after you have done all the, uh, the will of God, you might receive the promise. For yet a little while. And he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall not have pleasure in him. So what, what is happening in that time? There is tribulation speaking of afflictions afflictions that were going on they were under siege they were hard pressed they had calamities of war so if there was tribulation in the first age there is now predicted an intensified tribulation throughout the second age there is no doubt but what the following words of Paul applied to the mass of Christians wherever they were in the world and in every age. The Lord's approach to your tribulation. What were the few words? I know. Look at what he says in the exposition of the seven church ages seminar. I know, now the Lord, the Lord God Almighty says, I know. For he is walking in the midst of the people. Of his people. There he is, the chief shepherd of the flock. But does he hold back the persecution? Does he turn the tribulation? No, he does not. He simply says, I know your tribulation. I'm not at all unmindful of your suffering. And Brother Branham says, what a stumbling block this is to so many people. How do they behave? Like Israel. Israel. Like Israel. Say Israel. They wonder if God really loves them. How can God be just and loving if he stands by and watches his people suffer? That is what they, they asked in Malachi chapter 1. Verse 1 to 3. The burden of the law, the word of the Lord, 
to Israel by Malachi. Mutoro we shokora mwari kuna ku Israel. Shiburikiza na nemporofita Malachi. I have loved you. Ininda kakudai. Say the Lord. Those no wana chewo. Yet you say when has thou loved us? Asi mimi no vunza moti. Ko makati da papi na mwari. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Ko Esau anga asiri ere mukoma kuna Jacob. Say the Lord. Those no wana she. Yet I loved loved Jacob. And I hated Esau. As Zagadaro, Nakada, Jacobo, Nakavenga Isa, and laid his mountains and his heritage west for the dragons of the wilderness. Dogu tende ramakomo, ake Isa, kuti agova hugari, wezo se, zakaipa, murenje. You see, they could not figure the love of God. Vanga vasinga kwanise kudonongoza, kuti vatore va one rudoru wa mga. They thought the love of God meant no suffering. Vaifunga kutika na mga rachinga ata vanu. Hapase sina matambutiku. They thought that love meant a baby with parental care. Vaifunga kutika na vipango nzirudo. Sunore waka mga na kashava. Kanungo gara kari mawoko embere. But God's love is elective. Asi, kana wagu zirudoru wa mga ari. Rukuno saruza. Rukuno saruza. Sanangura. The election could Sanangura that you got. And the other one did not get it. Speaks volumes of the election. Listen, church. I'm really going to say a lot of things. Tonight. The proof of his love is election. That no matter what happened, his love was proven truly by the fact that they were chosen unto salvation because God has chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. Because Listen church. He may commit you to death as he did Paul. He may commit you to suffering as he did Job. That is his prerogative. He is sovereign. But it is all with a purpose. If he did not have a purpose, then he will be the author of frustration and not of peace. Listen, his purpose is that after we have suffered a while, we would be made perfect. Be established. Be strengthened. Be settled. Does that give you a little bit of an answer, you women? God is not stupid. To just leave you suffer the way you go. He wants to establish you. He wants to settle you down. He wants to strengthen you. He's got a purpose in everything that you're going through. Amen. Listen, brothers. I preach under anointing tonight. You see, he himself suffered. He learned obedience by the things he suffered. He actually he was actually made perfect by the things that he suffered. Suffering Kutambuzwa. In Jesus, Muna Jesu, brought character. Kwaka unza hunu. Wakana suffering. Kutambuzi. In Jesus, Muna Jesu, brought him to say the words that he said at the cross. Kwaka muunza kuta akoreva mashoko. Akareva arbamshinjiko. Father. 
Baba, forgive them. For they not what, know not what Le they are doing. His character had been molded. But how was it molded? By the things that he went through. Are we together? And we are in loudest here today. Why does God leave us go through the things that we live? That we Why does it not just become an Eden again? God is working with our character. Are we together? Amen. God is molding us. God is having an intended end. So we must know how we are perfected. We must know how we get to be pleasing to God. And this is exactly what he's saying. Here. And in Hebrews 5, verse 8 to 9. Chapter 5, verse 8 to 9. Though he were a son. Yet he learned obedience. By the things which he suffered. Don't you see Brother Branham in it? And he goes to Mishawaka. When he was in Mishawaka, what then goes on? The ministers, they say, William Branham, William Branham, take my invite. Take my invite. It went on like that until he had about a page full of invitations. Praise the Lord. He goes now to compare the very things that God has spoken to him with what others say. So he goes to his mother-in-law. He goes to his wife. The wife answered very well. He says, William, I'm married to you. What the Lord leads you. I'm ready to go with you. Into but when his mother heard that, his, uh, his mother-in-law heard that, what did she say? You are taking my child to those to those trash. You will not do that. What happened? William Branham chickened in. Chicken in. William Branham akava He's facing a test. Choosing God or what his mother in law said. And as a natural person, what did he do? He chose what his mother in law said. And God says, we don't operate like you must listen when I talk to you. Yes, what is now happening? Your wife is going to die. Your child is going to die. Members in church are going to die. And there is going to be a flood. And this man is trying to rescue people. And in that area where he was living, it rained so much. And he is with his boat. Rescuing people. And all of a sudden, the engine goes quiet. It started to be carried by the water. Currents. And it's going towards the cliff. He tries his capacity, his ability. And that boat could not respond. 
and he sees he is now in danger he himself and he started to cry God it was not me it was my mother-in-law and God says you are not serious as long as you are still taking the back to someone else you are not right inside and it's going he tries again. He says, God, please save my life. In this time, if you just save my life, I'm not going to listen to anyone else but you. And God says, This is what I want. He learned obedience through the things he suffered. But did not the wife die? And there is a helicopter giving words. William Branham. William Branham. Come to the hospital as soon as possible. Your wife is in danger. He goes. He finds hope. He's not making it. He tries to pray. Something like a black blanket comes over. The man cries. The man cries. He goes to bury hope. As he's away again, they talk of this little baby Sharon. In a desperate situation again. He comes in a hurry. They thought they would dress him. He says, I don't even need that. They said, you got Billy, you will contaminate him. He just went through. And he meets Sema Day. Sema Day says, she's not making it. The man cries. The man cries. He gets to the bed of little Sharon. He shoes away the flies. He, pray, he tries to pray. And a black blanket comes. Over. He learned obedience by the things he suffered. God was molding character in this man. This is Christianity. Not what you think. That Christianity is eating a very good uh, prepared fat cooks. That's a lie. This is Christianity. And God made sure that the heavens he failed to look upon and him. And he cried. Hanging between earth and heaven. And he cried, My God, my God. Why hast thou forsaken me? And And he died. And there was darkness all over. And there were earthquakes all over. God's only son. Dying on the cross. God is making character. Out of his own son. And that is setting precedence. For everyone who is going to follow Christ. This is the root. Hallelujah. So when we are in loudest here. We must know the survival techniques. We must know what God requires. We must know the ins and outs. Of how to go about things. Otherwise we remain on other platforms. When we are missing the message of the hour. Praise the Lord. I feel like preaching friends. Listen to this. In plain language. The car, 
are the very character of Jesus. Who was perfected by suffering. And according to Paul. He has left the church. He has left the church. A measure of suffering. That they too. By their faith in God. While suffering for him. Would come to a place of perfection. Yeah. And there is a measure of a cross that has been left for you, my friend. You must recognize. And no one must carry your cross. Reason why we sing, keep me true, Lord Jesus. Keep me true. There is a rest that I must run. There are victories to be won. Victories speak of a better. In this now age. age. Praise the Lord. So the way of the Lord. It looks like the way of suffering. And God has ordained it that way. In order for him to make character out of his own people. Praise the Lord. But if you find people. Running away from that. Then they've never known what they've believed. It was very possible. Because Brother Branham says, as Jesus was hanging on the cross, he says, in every branch, there were angels with swords ready to avenge him. But suffering perfected him so much. And he said the best words ever. Father, forgive them. For they know not what they are doing. But he had nails here. Another soldier was sending a spear here. He was dying a natural man. Can I preach a little bit? Please? Why did he want this? James 1 verse 2 to 4. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Temptations, hidden snares, often take us unawares. Yeah. Why we to believe for men a thoughtless word or deed. But we wonder why the test when we try to do our best. We will understand it better by and by. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is your root. Don't you and Cain does not take this route. Cain wants to be lavish. And escape perfection. Are we together? Look at the message Brother Branham preaches. 1963. Perfect faith. Kutenda. Kwaka kwana. Look at what he says when he goes beyond the curtain of time. He says only perfect love will get in there. What is perfect love? The one Jesus had. How did he come to have it? Through suffering. 
At times, you know, she would look at you. I mean, I just message in it. At times, I fail to follow me. That this I woman, does she really know what this message is all about? Does she really know it? With what uh, she does, revelation what, uh, I take says, says, uh, it's, uh, Revelation I this is the commander. You cannot buy this revelation. Message has you cannot to be, be taught to revelation. Amen. Amen. My brethren, Amazon. count it all joy. When you fall into diverse. Temptations. Knowing this, but the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have a perfect work. That you may be perfect and endure. Wanting nothing. At times, you try this brother. Their doors are closed on you. You try that sister. Their doors are closed on you. And Brother Branham says, He makes people to turn against you. He makes, he allows sickness to fall upon you. Eh? He allows church members to say things against you. Why? Say to test you. To prove you. So why do you cry? Yet God wants to perfect you. Why do you run away? When God wants to perfect you. Ah, the, the situation in Zimbabwe. Ah, ah, talking what position is is doing. Doing. Ah, God he wants to perfect you so that you come to a speaking position. But you always curse the leader. But what he is doing is making you come to your perfection. You know, people without revelation. You know, people, people are seeing their salvation. In, uh, Let me tell you, you know, as as I I it, 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 is not going to make it. He cannot help you out. But the Lord Jesus Christ alone can help you out. There is no one who can out. But you will be trying. I you know to try to make things work out, but these things that he's facing, they are causing the children of God to come to perfection. Are you in church? Oh my. Let me say something before I close here. Eh? But why does Jesus seem to stand by? Romans, Romans 8. Roma 8. Verse 17 there. Pa verse 17. And if children, then heirs of God. Ah. And if children, Zinoka. then heirs of God. Ka and joined heirs with Christ. Kanavana. Kanatirivana. Kanatirivana. If so, that we suffer with him. That we may also be glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of, of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. When Brother Branham crossed over, he says the grass there was blue. Ah, green. They were blue. 
Have you ever seen blue grass? It's there. Uriko. He says, brothers, if there is a place that you must never miss, it's there. He says, I don't have enough terms to name it. But there is a place where he says, there is a place where he says, there is a you have to suffer to reign. The reason for this is that character. What is called character? It's features that make up an individual. Ndo zizenga zinoumpa kuti ushike pa kuti uyu munhu is uh, simply is never made without suffering. Character is a victory, ne, not a gift. In your situation, you must come out victorious. In order for us to call you that you've got courage. But if you falter in your situation, then you are not a victorious Are we together? The reason why our situations are varied here. You talk to this one, you talk to this one. You begin to see God is working a way to perfection for everyone. He is working on the characters of the people here. With money or without money. There is enough temptations for those people to die. Why am I putting this? So that you can know the life of Cain and the life that you must live. And the life that Abel lived. The expectations of this message. Am I saying go hungry? No. I'm not saying that. And this Kureva Mashukewa. Praise the Lord. The reason for this is that character, that features that make up an individual, is uh, simply is never made without suffering. Character is not a gift. A man without character can't reign because. Power apart from character is certain. munu asina hunu haasike pakuzi atonge nekutika simba rekutonga risina hunu ndere matimon. Praise the Lord. Amen. Huh? In order for you kuti wewe to assume that home and be mother in that home. Upinde musha ugova mai pamusha. You must pass through certain things that you defeat. Unova kufura uri munzira yezvimwe zvinhu zvaunova honge wakakunda for you to be settled in there. Kuti ukwanise kuzonzi wagara mbo. For you to have the power in that home. Kuti ugozova nesimba wave mbai mu. But if you jump those stages. Asikana wakachirika wakasvetuka zvinhana. Then you are not fit to reign. Ha huna kukodzera kuti ugare in other words, you are not fit to be in that home. God takes you through a certain meal. Do you understand yourself now? Praise the Lord. Great morning, even the things are concerning the blood. There is great morning. We 
Varuma kwa wandu varambu kwa Maraji pika shake wanu wake Na wakazi waka wanda varambu kwa Maraji pika shake wanu wake They've been divorced you know And also women have been divorced Yet it's God who is molding his people Hasine nukurupa wako isi You know, these uh, issues have, have nothing to do with your husband. It's God. If he didn't want you to enter through uh, that, uh, you know, a meal, he would not allow you to pass through it. But there's a certain way in which uh, he works with you to mold you. We uh, always see. He leads me. I will no if he uh, follows me ka. through the thorns, no, I will just follow. We, Why are you not following? You are now, uh, you know, backsliding. You must go pass through the thorns. Ah. Hey. You know, People they don't want uh, to troubles. People they don't want uh, calamities. But those not But those things they more character. That's exactly how William Branham lived and survived. Billy Graham. He visited Billy Graham one day. Awanaane University. And he saw uh, Billy Graham. Oral Roberts. A very big university. He visited Oral Roberts. Awanaane University. He saw he had the university as well. And he had a computer. And he had a range of computers. In the 50s. Ah, uh, in my 50s. Yet William Branham was using uh, that uh, uh, typewriter. Zware se uchinyora. Zukanzi ishe. Say, Lord. Yendava. Why? Vakumana vese wakabuda mandiri. Mushumiru yamba. All these guys, they came out of my ministry. Kwa hindi ndinda mbaita say. Where am I getting it wrong? Then God came. He said, you. All the things that uh, you know I'm doing for these men, uh, does it have anything to do with you? You must look up unto me. I'm your satisfying. William Brandon. William Brandon. All the boys came out of his own ministry. But he remained the poorest. As he, dear Kanga Ari, as far as I know, he was rich. But was God, was God failing? Six hundred kgs of gold to Ezo. open heavens and uh, give him six hundred kgs of gold. What I tell Zairi, was God failing to provide for his family? Nine missionary brother. Can God fail to just uh, uh, give you a four by four? And you find uh, your account Why should you go through suffering? Why? Say. Why? 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 The reason why I always tell you that a lot will not go to heaven. Because uh, the road is not a wide road. It's a narrow road. But I'm giving it to you. I take Abel, eh? Abel. Then I show you the kind of life that you have. I show you the route God wants you to take. And in this message, Marizo, we had rich people like Bill Dow. They were coming into this route. Rich God had a portion for them. Because he wanted to perfect them. What makes uh, your wife just to run away? Of all, of all the people who are in the church, why you? God wants to fulfill and to bring you to perfection. You must not run away from your trial. You must then go. If your wife has not run away from you, you must say, Ah, this is my own. I will not make it. But I thank you, God, because you have got my portion that you have prepared for me. You have got, there is a special size for you. 
If that special size comes to you, it will be yours. And you, never have it. you try to go and show it to the other person and say, Why can't you go to, the, to my neighbor? No, say, it will come direct to you. Huh? Like those, like those who came. Uh, when uh, they were saying we are we are the DNA people, the DNA they said, why did you come here? Ah, you are too early. Because my child here looks, looks like he's, he's his father. You must go down there because there's a, a certain deacon who, who has got a, his, the, the deacon is darkness and the light. No, the, the troubles are coming to you, not to the deacon's house. Hallelujah. Amen. If you, you know, catch up with the message and uh, uh, get a hold of the revelation in this way, then you can sustain. And since, uh, but power without character, uh, with character is fit to rule. And since he wants us to share even his own throne on the same basis that he overcame and he sat down in his father's throne, then we have to overcome to sit with him. As you know, you know, to go and, uh, you know, share the same roof with Lazarus. Joseph of Arimathea, Angaripi. Where was Joseph of Arimathea then? Because Joseph of Arimathea was a rich man. Among the rich. A man who would buy, you know, a sepulcher. Was Jesus not knowing them? But where does God direct him? But anotunga miri wakupi. To Lazarus. Kumba kwa igara wana Lazarus. Prophet anoti he was earning a very meager salary. But the prophet says that Lazarus aitambira kamarika ikwanza kutenga zomsiwo. He was also staying with his two sisters. Aigara opa mchedini anzati zaki. And Jesus, no Jesus comes to that house to become another burden. Ano uya kuimba iyo yo ineka marika no kwana zata muswa tambi kwa marindo wa wa kwana. Jesus ano uya uswe some toro futimo. What they were eating, zavaijga, is what Jesus was. Do us haku chikiwa na Jesus. But this is God. Sindi mu arika. Why did he not just make a very big house for himself? Ko akati kungo tinga pa vene zimba guru rovarango vepo. Good furniture. Good cars. Even the boat he was borrowing. In order for him to preach. He was trading on a liability. He didn't have anything of his own. He died without a house. He says foxes have holes. But the son of man has nowhere to lay down. His own. Hama, if you don't think, uh, eh? you know, if uh, you eh? uh, think deeper in these things, you will leave everything else and go in the wilderness and become prophet from the wilderness. You will start to uh, understand now the life that was lived by the prophet William Branham. Are we together, brothers? All the treasures are laid up there for those who are willing to enter into the kingdom through much tribulation. 
zino hupfumi ne ungwanda ngwanda wepfuma huriko wakachengeterwa avo vanoda kupinda mazviri kuburikidza nekutambudzwa nekushungurudzwa pa Sister Chido, do you think God cannot give you your legs? Sister Chido, do you think this message cannot give you your legs? But why is he allowing you to go like that? Here is the answer. In his own language, he Things look hard. He's at church and the robbers come to steal. He drives a car, he runs over somebody. drive a Why are all these things coming to me? You see the things that we are seeing here. Then you end up singing and saying, if you have found, if I have found favor in your eyes, so that I can do your work, then you must choose. You must, choose. You, must choose. you must come and dwell in me. Let all oh, my works, let not be mine. Let it not be mine. Let them be dictated by you. But you find people, you know, to just rush for opportunities more than the word of God. You know, just uh, rushing. If you are the seed of God, you will go nowhere. God will just close all the avenues that you want to think God is stupid. Hallelujah. Amen. We have lost so many opportunities in this life. Taka rasikirwa nezvaita sekunge zvauya kwatiri sezvipetseredzo mupenyu hunu. Uchitoda kuti zvitraya so mwara vhara. When you want to try to do it then God closes the door for you. When you are a prisoner you go nowhere, brother. Kana uri muranda. Unotozongodza kuti hauna kwa unoenda. All right. And da where is she? You come back and say Lord I'm, I'm, I'm then you start to sing the songs, you know, uh, like uh, just do it, Lord, even according to thy will. You are the molder. I am the clay. Mold me. Because you'll be realizing that my ways will take me nowhere. Do you hear what I'm preaching to you, brethren? Mm. We are all tried, tried and chastened as sons. We are all tried and chastened as sons. We are all and Not one but goes through that. The church that is not suffering is not being and, and is not being tried has is in the of god zvinokereke isiri kutambudzika isiri kusvika hopa kuedzwa iyoyo haisi ya mwari for whom the lord loveth he chasteneth nekuti uyo ka anodikanwa na mwari mwari vanomuranga and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth zvino vanoshina nekushura nekupisa zvose mumwana vanodisa but if you be without chastisement. Whereof are uh, uh, all our partakers? Uh, then you are bastards and not sons. Iyo nzira ka yekuti wose vanofa wakupinda kwa hari vanopinda na nayo kana zvika sadaro zvinoreva kuti maita vana mengo vana vasinga divi. I must end there. Ndofa kumira ipa. I'm really praying that God gives me grace. To come back. 
work on this. Then show you a bond. Then show you a bond. To be in this message is by revelation, brother. Ah, hey. You know, people who just came and joined and they were uh, given, uh, you know, uh, promises that they were going to become this, that, and the other. That's a lie. Let me encourage you, my sister. You must not leave this message because of what we are going through. It's God perfecting you. Let me encourage you, my brother. Never you turn back. You must continuously look upon Jesus. Don't listen to what man says. Are we in church, brethren? Shengavarum Bizwe. Warimuri Zubari Bolope Does he bail out William Branham? In that text case. It was not a lot of money. It was almost half a million. In the whole of William Branham's ministry. Failing to raise half a million. Achitaza ku unganiza maringa siti chikamu chemirio. 
to pay that tax that was required by the Lord. Why? See, in all his life, he lives by the personage. He says that house, my name is not on it. You can have it back. Praise the Lord. So, what was the grantor? Sakako. The chipiko chai vava mazinoa William Branham. Chai da. What is it that he received? She. Chaka kamushira. When in this flesh, ari muniyama ino. This man had nothing to boast of. Anga asina chai kwa nisa kustutu maza kutanajwa. This message is not food and drink, my brothers. Marizo ino, aisi, chikafu, patafura, kuzimbi ruama. The Lord is so wonderful. As we bow our heads, so that we come to him and to him. You know, you are all sitting in the fowl. You want me to yeah. call you from afar so that you can come and pray for us. I like your simplicity. I like your humbleness. But, but yeah. Yeah. No, no. Uh, yeah. you but yeah, it's like too much. Like I'm from there now. Oh, but can I call you from there? Yeah. Are you guys, you are being unfair. Uh, uh, so, Trinos, we are going. Trinos, come forward. Ubonamad. So that you pray for us. Brothers, if this seems to have a meaning in your heart, Say, God help me tonight. Can show by the raising of your hands. Tonight. Yes, Lord. Glory to Jesus. Glory to the Almighty. Oh God. Yes, my Father. Amen. Yes. 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 Maruwa munda ina mata kuti tipe simba rekuramba taka bati la pasho kureni no meta zino watsa zino rema sei zino rangari la baba wa kare ishe baba maka manya muda huo imari vai parisa shoke imari vachi tema vachi roa asi vaka ramba vachi sungiri la pasho kirori vaka piwa mutemo kuti nasi tika kubata ifuti mchi parisa ni zajesu. Siro paso ti shaku farire ti shaku rovai, but avana ku terira isoso. Waka ramba wachi pari zaiche baba shokoreni. No kuti waka si waka tindo upenyu usinga peri. Waka wona kuti zeni kai na zibasi di chino. Zino para rende zino pera. Asi waka si waka kuti chino ichi baba chino upenyu. Ne mati bati ro baba mungu eku pezi sira ino. Yika ino baba ilo dosia. Ine shaka wanda zino ofa wana ne nyumari. Pato bati pe ku fratira ti rampe taka bati la pasho koreni no meta shino rema sei inamo tasha iwa mari tasha iche kupeka bungo mupari taka tuku shiwa boots kana kuziwana katika peti shuru bisha mari ne shuba bati basi re mari tini ne hani akta kadaro zino zoka pasho koreni no meta tasha iwa sasa no meta tasha iwa chii bati shuru bisha shukoreni 
Nekuta atinga rashe mwari nekuti tashaya sasa. Atinga rashe mwari nekuti tashaya wa putu. Atinga rashe mwari nekuti tashaya wa motokari. Pati tarope teka patira. Mwari wangu tino na mata manenano. Kuti mungu pari tawe shoko eri mwari. Robo fasa inga mungu pari apari za shoko eri mwari. Rinoti tore reza. Muzira ya shoko eri mwari. Nekura ngari ira. Nangwe mprofita paka nga atisa. Aka su tsoka. Nekuti makamu roe ni mishahu. Nekuti atsoke mga tine shoko eri mwari. Manera no tino na mata. Tasumu zamo yedu mwari. Atisha miriri kurohwa. Pata wabata rohwa ni shoko na tansu kwa pano. Kuti titoke mga tine roti yenyu. Tuna kuhute ina mwari. Nekule kwa upari tako shoko ni mwari. Robo fasa yemu parisi mfundisi. Robo fasa yemu mwena mwati kwa mashoko ya mwari. Tia meti tete mzimba zedu. Teshi muka teshi na mata. No meta kuno tono ura kwa itashi. Mabatila mbetaka batila pa shoko ya mwari. Tino na mata manera no. Nemusita ni muro para tenje so Christu pre. Amen and amen. God bless you. Mwari, wakuru pa fazei. Thou my everlasting portion, more than friend or life to me, all along my pilgrim journey. Pay me.